Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango and Cat Races and stuff. I don't know. Oh, this this area is so huge. Well, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. <laughs> what is going on here? Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. <laughs> How is... Oh! I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind okay. of romantic, though. If we Don't drink the, the liquor with gold in it, she'll... The metal detector will go off. She won't find anything during the search. Well, maybe just a sip. There we go. Well, maybe just a sip. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Huh, that... Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. That can't have not worked. I don't really want to do that. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. I saw some stuff coming out of my mouth that I was talking to her, so maybe... Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. 
And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. <laughs> Don't you just love prunes? Mmm, dates. They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, never a big <laughs> poor fan of Grandma prunes. Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one Hedwig, time back that's when I was an interesting six. Name. Or maybe <laughs> I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was ah, still alive. six. The golden year. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet little puppy. <laughs> we didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come but he'd huh? still try to What's bark <laughs> and it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball which our cat often did he had I such remember long I had hair a hairball once. <laughs> i don't really like long-haired cats do you manny they're just so i like short-haired cats they seem less stuck up people think i'm stuck up sometimes believe it or not wow no, no, they really do i don't know why i guess it's because i'm so shy i was shy all the way through high school how long will this go on dance can you believe it no, <laughs> don't get me wrong, yes. the boys would ask, Seems but shy. I just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen Running if I away. just smiled. That sounds pretty while. good right now. She always said a smile is well, the most important right. part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you uh, out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and... And... And I'd... go, oh, Mother! <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold your mother. Let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? <laughs> yes. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. <laughs> okay, that was all really great. And all I had to do was hear, let me hold up metal They're detector. Locked. They're lockers. <laughs> They're locked. They're lockers. I like Carla. I like Carla a lot. They're locked. They're lockers. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector <laughs> around here, would you? <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> hey, hey, official documents don't touch. Okay, that was great. So now it looks like the metal detector is in the litter box. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! But I love you, Carla! You were fun! <laughs> so much fun. Oh, this area is so huge! Also, there's a blimp. Why is there a blimp? Okay, so she's up there. I have to go down here. I can't go down there. Please do not leave children unattended. Oh, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Okay. You More again? I was just about to say the same thing. Sorry, monsieur, but you cannot come upstairs without a pass. Wow. Most 
time, no more bets. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. I'm not going... I'm not going in there. Okay, but... Oh, so much to do. I don't even know how to get out of here. And we're off! Kissing pretty, having a little trouble. But I think it was from here, wasn't it? Making up for lost time. Bank Teller's three. That's the VIP and lounge the thing. Kathmandu. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Huh. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in Elmaro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubakava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. I see! S can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Yes! <laughs> like... Sorry. Old car on a joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Membrio? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. 
You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Mm. Manny, we've given up. Okay. So... This is the morgue, and if we had a metal detector, we could help him find what he's looking for. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice. Okay. So much exploring. I don't know how we're going to get back to where we came from. That area with like all those branch offs. But when we come back, we'll be exploring more of this area. And we'll see you guys for that. Bye, everybody.